Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Fora from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for September 28th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Once again, we saw more upside. This eight-year bull run showing no signs of slowing down. It continues to move higher, and today, actually, we saw the Dow flash yet another buy signal. So the Dow finished higher by 40 points, but it also put in a nice bullish engulfing pattern here which is which is a reversal signal so any trade above today's high with this type of momentum would be a good opportunity to get long once again the s p 500 today uh finished higher by just three points while the nasdaq managed to squeak out a very very slight gain it's pretty much a break even and iwm the ETF for the Russell 2000 put in yet again another new all-time high. So things are just rolling. The uh, bonds bond market today, TLT down another 37 cents. While gold managed to uh, move higher by about a couple of points, it was lower earlier in the session and then made it back. Uh, crude, crude reverse course down 1.1%. And the U.S. dollar did the same thing. It was higher earlier in the session and then reversed. This is the dollar against the CAD. Let's have a quick look at the dollar index chart. And you can see same thing. It was higher and then reversed. We also had uh, an IPO today. Uh, Roku came out, went public. And there it is. And this is all anyone can talk about today. And it was a monster move. It opened at 1578 and just went wild here closing at 23 and a half up nine and a half points or 68 percent here uh, but the real opportunity is certainly not on the daily chart here where we see only one bar uh, the key one of the things you can do with an ipo is go to the lowest time frame go to one minute and then have a look for opportunities uh, if we throw on our winning momentum strategy layout here and go back to roku here and put on the one minute chart there are some real nice opportunities one right in here right in here and you can see there's that cross of the rsi right here with momentum and look at that move later on in the day we got a bit of a reverse reversal sell signal from here and it went lower and then we recovered and once we flattened out for a little bit, then we started seeing some momentum. And there's another cross. You actually had a couple of opportunities here at this. And it just continued right into the close. So one of the things you can do very, very easily uh, on an IPO is just switch to the lower time frame chart. And just use a strategy you can count on. And usually, just like we saw with Snap early on when they went public, uh, the first few days, you usually see some very, very nice opportunities um you know trading does not have to be difficult and one of the things we overlook sometimes is how simple it can be have a look at mcdonald's here mcdonald's put in a nice move today but one of the uh actually let me go to the daily chart here one of the simple things you can do is just when, when you recognize that we're just chopping around we're, we're in a sideways uh in a in a set price range here going sideways Trading can be as simple as marking a previous high and a previous low. So you want to take the extremes. This was the, the, the highest high we've seen in a while, and here's the, the lowest low. And now just wait for a breakout one way or the other. It really is that simple. Have a look back in here where we did sort of the same thing. We bounced around for a while. If we had marked a high here and marked the low and just waited for that breakout, and that started the next move so and let's have a look at the weekly chart here and let's take off these uh drawings and have a look back here's a similar pattern we see all this choppy sideways action mark a high mark a low and wait for a breakout and there it was just took off right there if we look at the monthly chart all right here's another period just chop zone what do we do mark a high mark a low and it doesn't matter which way it breaks out, but when it does, it usually takes off. It goes silent again. Here, mark a high. And you know, if if, if you get um if you can mark several points along the line, you'd be even stronger, right? 
mark a low and there's your breakout so trading does not have to be difficult remember look for those channels look for those sideways uh consolidation periods mark a high mark a low and wait for the breakout that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update